Hey friends, welcome to my bathroom. Do you see this hat? I wear it every day. I go running with it. I go outside with it. I wear it inside. I do a lot of things with this hat and now it is time to wash it. Washing alpaca wool can be tricky. While it is actually really easy to do, there's a couple of important things you need to keep in mind in order to not ruin your garment. So pay close attention. The golden rule is always to hand wash alpaca wool and garments with your hands not on the hand wash program on the washing machine, but in your bathroom with a tub and your hands. First, we're gonna let the alpaca wool and garment soak in this tub in cold to lukewarm water. Now we're gonna add the detergent. It is always important to use a very mild detergent. Even the special wool ones can still be very harsh on the fabric, so make sure it's a really soft one or uh, even baby shampoo will work. Secret Ninja tip, when you add the detergent, Make sure to dissolve it with your hands uh, before you put the garment in. There we go. All we gotta do now is let the garment soak for 30 minutes. Now it's time to rinse the garment and get rid of the soap. And this is why you do that in the shower. So we're going to use the same temperature water. We're going to just rinse it out without moving it too much. This is important because when there is a change in temperature, the fiber gets like shocked and this can cause it to start felting or to start peeling and we want to prevent that. Now this is the tricky part because you're going to be very inclined to wring it and to get rid of the soap faster, but you don't want to do that. Again, this is one of the big causes that can cause your alpaca woolen garment to felt, and it will just look really ugly if you do it, so maintain yourself and do not wring it. What is possible is to gently squeeze the fabric, and you gently want to squeeze out the water. Now we have uh, a wet hat and we're gonna dry it. As you can see, the hat is really wet. It's still soaking with water, so we're gonna get rid of that now. We're gonna put the hat on a towel in its original shape, and then we're gonna gently roll the garment into the towel without really stretching it or without really pulling it all that much. And this is gonna help us squeeze the water out of the garment and into the towel. Okay, let's see what we got. This is already a lot, lot drier. A lot of the water got absorbed into the towel. Now, we're gonna get a new towel. We're gonna put a flat in its original shape again. Make sure there are no um, wrinkles or anything. And we're basically just gonna fold it and we're going to leave it here until it's dry. The alpaca woolen garment has been drying between the towels for about three hours. A lot of the water has been absorbed, so it's going to dry a lot faster now. And make sure it lies uh, flat on a flat surface. This can be a drying rack like this one, or it can be a counter, or it can be a table, whatever you have available to dry it. You don't necessarily need the towel anymore at this point. If you want to, you can still put it underneath it, uh, and you can keep turning it to make sure that both sides dry well. And now you just have to wait until the garment is dry and it will be fresh again and ready to wear. While we're waiting for the alpaca woolen garment to dry, there is one more thing that you can do. And that is hitting the like button. By hitting the like button, your garment will even dry 15 minutes faster than it would if you wouldn't hit it. One of the big benefits of alpaca wool is that you don't need to iron it. You don't need to uh, do anything with it once you're done with the washing process. So that will save you a little bit of time, but the drying can take up some time. I am expecting it to dry overnight. If you like this video, you're definitely gonna love my channel. Uh, everything I do is about alpaca wool and I have my own brand of sustainable alpaca wool and products. And I hope to see you in the next video.